And now Wait, Chloe's stuck in an Chloe's elevator. Out, the girl's trapped. I swear to God, if there's a zombie around the next corner. There is a zombie. There's a zombie around every corner. You don't joke ah. like that. So we're going to turn the generator back on if Nate wants to swing. He's like, mmm, I'll think about it. That would probably knock a real human being unconscious, by the way. So I'm calling bullshit. So swing on over yonder. And watch the awesome board physics at work. Just in case you missed that board too many times, they give you uh, some pistol ammo. Swing. This guy must have been on the jungle gym like crazy when he was young. So there's going to be a couple of guys here, and we're going to wait. Because one of these guys is going for a ride. Now here, I'm going to wait for one of them to walk away, which they never do, so... I'm trying to debate which one I want to kill first. And this guy's coming to join the party, and I'm like, ooh, tea party time. So now my choice is just multiplied. Take a kid in a candy shop, and I realize that since he's just trying to be like everyone else by standing near this window, he's going first. And I just realized I could have easily taken him over the edge as well. So, scope it out in case some unneeded AI comes and tries to kill you. And when they don't come, then you rape that guy, because he has for it. And there's a collectible, if you go all the way up those stairs and jump in the elevator shaft, there's one hide in there. He's gonna be like, that was like a little action move right there. See, that shit right out of movies. Oh, that's what looking at your environment does. So I'm still debating on what guns I want, so I go with the AK. It was a wise choice. And I would not trust that bridge. I don't know about you. And if you get lucky, you will realize those guys are coming and actually not get the crap scared out of you. Then we're going to go ahead and jump onto this pillar right here, which also looks incredibly safe. And we're almost there. We are going to get our girlfriend back. And aim right over here when you jump over there, and give that guy a piece of your mind. Go ahead and turn this bitch on, and Dexman's going to come on. If Dexman doesn't come on, you've been doing this part all wrong. So just reload your last checkpoint. Ding. Almost there. Come on. So what I'm doing here, I have absolutely no clue. But you want to come over here. She goes. Oh, I think you're liking this a bit too much. Yay. And the rest of this level is just climbing, I believe. If I'm wrong, you guys can kill me. Do whatever. Make sure you jump in the pool because you get a little trophy type thing. Polo. Hey, check it out. Marco. Really? Fish out of water. Okay, this way. <laughs> Fish out of water. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. See, even the characters know this is a little bit redundant. I mean, a simple ladder would suffice. Well, here we are. Now we just gotta find the right temple. Well, that may be easier said than done. No, tell me about it. Maybe we can... Oh, bingo. There it is. 
that's the one. Yeah, it's gotta be. The one in the middle of all the gunfire and explosions. Lucky us. Nate, that's right where Lazarevich is camped. I was hoping we'd be headed in the opposite direction. Well, desperate times, right? The wreck has been spotted at Sector 18. Oh, crap. Any chance this is Sector 19? Sweep the city, find him, and take him out. Son of a bitch. All right, time to go. Come on, Nate, let's get moving. Damn it. How the hell do we get across? Oh, God, be careful. Holy shit. 